In this video, I'll show you a quick way to save your designs in different file folders so that you can find them easily or under different categories. Um, so I'm in Panto Stacker right now. You can do this anywhere that you see the Select Pattern button. So I'm going to click that. It's up here on the top left, by the way. Okay, and then it brings up this window as if you're going to select a pattern for the design you're about to stitch out. Write this down um, before you go any further. Your, this is the path to where all of your designs are stored. And this is where the software is automatically going to go to look for designs for you to stitch out. There is underneath that a button called Patterns. And then there's one for block, continuous line, triangle, and border sets. These are ones that come with the program, and we cannot change those that I know of, um, but they are there just to quickly get you to continuous line and so forth, goal patterns. Um, and there's also, there are more file folders or categories, and they are shown under patterns. So I'm going to click right there. Okay, so you'll see that I have several that I have set up um, and, and others that come with the program. They just, they don't have the space to put them all up here. So if you think of all of your designs as files in a file cabinet, so um, C colon up here at the top, that might be your file cabinet. Okay, and you might be in the drawer called Quilter's Creative Touch. And within that, you have... Um, different headers for files, powered by QuiltCAD, and then patterns. And then within each file folder in that drawer, you're going to have different uh, designs related to that. For instance, I created one called Christmas, and I put all of my Christmas designs in there. These designs are still in continuous line, as you can see here. But if I want to quickly just look at all the Christmas patterns, I can do that. And so how I did this was... I go to Patterns, and then come all the way over to the right and select New. And now I'm going to enter a, a folder name. So I'm going to call this one Children. It's like, OK. All right. <clears throat> and now what I want you to look at is at the bottom right, you'll see this Notebook icon. So select that. And on the left, you have two, two windows here. On the left, you have your Source. And on the right, you have your destination. So your files are already in your source cabinet, and you want to move them to your destination. You're, you're actually copying them, not moving them. Okay, Okay. so remember that path I told you to write down. Over here on the left, we're going to find that, which mine is Quilter's Creative Touch. And yours may be different, so uh, make sure you check that. You know, don't follow exactly on this video um, because yours may be named different. And now I want to look in my continuous line folder and I'm going to copy some of the designs here into the folder that we created that I called children. So on this side I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to find my path. Patterns and the children. And notice there's no files over here yet because we just created that. So then on the left, I can just select some files that I think might be related to children. And, and I'm holding down the control key and then I'm selecting the file with um, the left click of my mouse button. And um, I'm just going to select maybe one more and that will be it. Now, what I did on this was... I went through all of my designs and I categorized them. So I have children, angels, just all sorts of different categories on, on my drive, on my where my, um, my long arm is. And now when I purchase a design and I copy it into the directory or the file cabinet where it goes, I also cross file it under the category. Okay, so once I've got all of these children designs highlighted, I select OK. You get a message, are you sure you want to copy? And so now I have them in both places. You'll see on the left, I still have mittens under continuous line, but I also have it under children. So you're just copying. So um, 
you know, when you just download one design, if you go here real quick and just move it over, um, then you don't have to select multiples like I just did. And when you're done, you select OK. Uh, I don't know why it's asking me. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. When you're done, you select the X at the top. OK, so now I'm back at this screen where I had selected patterns and I can come to the children and you'll see all of the designs that I just selected or just moved over. And so now I'm ready to work with those on whatever um, pattern I'm, I'm working on or whatever quilt I'm working on. So remember, it's select pattern and then you go all the way to the bottom right and select the notebook. Okay, and it's going to bring up every, or not everything, but it, it just brings up some um, files that were on the screen before. Um, so just navigate to your, um, your designs and start copying them over to your new folders. You can also create a new folder here. Uh, I did not mention that, but you have to be um, where you want those files in that path. So back to my QCT, Power by Quilt CAD, Patterns, and let's say I want to do one. I have not ever done this, but it appears to not be working. So I would go with the other way that I mentioned um, back here under New Folder and just name it whatever whatever category you think you want to break your designs down into. Um, and then you can come here and copy designs into those folders. I do hope this video helps you. Um, if you want, leave a comment below. Hit like and subscribe. I try to do videos as often as I can. And if you have any ideas for videos that I could do, I just do the little short ones only on QCT. Um, you're welcome to email me at droyson at yahoo.com. My name is Donna Royson. Thank you.